In this video, we're going to take a look at how to attach and send larger files through Outlook email messages and how to avoid the excessive file size message that can appear when you're attempting to attach pretty large files to email messages. Just to show you what I'm talking about here, if I go ahead and go to the Insert tab and click the Attach button, now I am in, in Outlook here just composing a blank email, so if I try to attach this file, you'll notice that it's too large and Outlook isn't going to let me do that because it exceeds their file limit, which I believe is around 25 megabytes. And by today's standards, that's a pretty small file. So chances are many of the files that you might need to send could be larger than that, especially if they're video or something longer. So I'm going to show you a way to use OneDrive to get around this issue and how to basically email any file regardless of its size. So let's leave the email blank here. I'll come back to that in a couple minutes. We're going to go ahead and log into Basecamp so we can access OneDrive through your web browser. So through Basecamp, that's basecamp.easdpa.org, or use your desktop icon if you're using a district device. You're going to want to click get signed in first and then go, go ahead and click the Office 365 icon because that is the family of applications where or that OneDrive is a part of. After Office 365 loads and you get logged in, look for the cloud icon on the left so you can access OneDrive. All right, what we're going to do here is essentially take that same file that we were trying to attach to the email and load it into OneDrive and create a share link. And then we're going to email that link and that will allow us to bypass that file size limitation that Outlook was hitting us with. So I'm going to find a place where I can store this video, assuming it's not already in OneDrive. I'm just going to put it in my video folder. Now keep in mind this would work for any file type, not just videos. It could be music, pictures, documents, presentations, whatever. And um, Really, the only really reason to do this is if your file is larger than what Outlook allows you to attach. So now I'm going to choose the upload option at the top of the screen here in OneDrive. Now I'm going to upload a file. I have it saved in my videos folder in captures. There it is. You could also drag and drop directly onto this screen here. So I chose to navigate to the video file where I had it saved, but it also works the same way where you can actually find the file and just drag and drop it right here on your browser page inside of this folder or whatever you're looking at in OneDrive. It's telling you that the file is uploading right here. If I click it, it shows me some progress. As soon as that is done getting attached, I should be able to generate a share link, and then after that, it's just a matter of copying it and pasting it to the email, and then of course sending it. Let's go ahead and let that finish. Okay, now that the file has finished uploading into my OneDrive folder here, I can go ahead and hover over the file and then looking for the share icon right here. Notice that it only appears when I hover over it. You can also click the three dots and choose share. So I'm gonna click that and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's set to anyone with the link can view. Unless, of course, you want to lock it to just people within Effort Out or something like that. Saying anyone with the link would make it so that no one has to log in to be able to access or view the file. After you have that set, just go ahead and click the Copy Link button right here in the lower left. It'll tell you that the link is copied, and now you all, all you have to do at this point is go back to your email message, paste, so control V or you can right click and choose paste. And there is your link. Notice that it didn't tell us that the file is too large, even though the file size is still the same, but we just attached it to the email message in a different way. So a couple benefits to this, there's no file size limit and it also won't take up space in your outbox and it won't take up space in the recipient's inbox. So if you send a very large file, it's not going to um, fail to go through because you know someone's email inbox is too full or something like that. So it is a much more modern way to share files and a lot more convenient because there's no limit. It's relatively easy and once you get the hang of it it's pretty straightforward. So uh, 
hopefully that can help you send more files without running into any roadblocks.